In this video, I'm going to quickly show you 25 plus laptops I have had in my studio over the past year and showcase the timeline playback in Premiere Pro so that you can pick the right laptop for a smooth video editing experience with 4K. Let's get rocking! Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're going to find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. And if at any point during this video, you're getting some value, then what you can do for me, and it's a huge favor, is just gently, just gently massage that like button. Make sure it goes down, but just give it a nice little, little love tap. And that will spit this video out to more editors just like yourself looking for the best laptops for editing in the timeline. Now, diving right into things, let's start by pulling up the playback chart to see which laptops sit at the top of the list. Then we will talk about why they sit up there, and then I'll give you some feedback on how to choose the right laptop uh, based on those playback tests. Now, let's talk about this chart. First off, lower is better. Now, I mean, duh, obviously, but you, you don't want drop frames. When you begin dropping frames in the timeline, your editing experience will become laggy and frustrating. Now, what you're seeing is my standard playback test. Um, so what we do is we have a nine minute clip, place it into the timeline, add some color, add some motion graphics, add some music, and then play it back at full quality. This full project contains 16,177 frames in total, with 7,240 of those frames being motion graphics. Now, on the left side of the chart, the top three best laptops are the Intel Equipped, and they have anywhere from four to eight gigs of VRAM. But on average, we're seeing those six and eight gig VRAM cards, the graphics cards, really be our top performers. Now, right off the bat, the Strix G17 carrying the i7-10750H with six cores and 12 threads, and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 with eight gigs of GDDR6 VRAM, that one's top in the charts. Now, do note that it also comes with 64 gigs of RAM, which will help with the playback as it gives Premiere Pro a much higher ceiling in regards to RAM allocation. Next on the list is the HP ZBook Power G7 with its Intel Xeon W10855M uh, with six cores and 12 threads, and the NVIDIA Quadro T2000 with four gigs of GDDR6 VRAM. This laptop also comes with 64 gigs of RAM, and again, it is really making use of it. The combined power of the GPU, CPU, and RAM is a big help for smooth playback. Now, the MSI Creator 15 comes up next on the list with eight cores and 16 threads with its i7-10875H and an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Super Max Q, eight gigs of GDDR6 VRAM. So rather, um, though, than the 64 gigs of RAM we've seen on the previous laptop, this one is slightly more modest with 32 gigs of RAM. Now, people often ask, what is the most important component um, when it comes to video editing? And this is truly proof that it's not a singular component, but it's a combination of the three. But for the sake of this video, I wanted to kind of give a, a general recommendation. I would say a mid-ranged i7 processor, six to eight gigs of VRAM in the GPU, 32 to 64 gigs of RAM will get you optimal smooth playback in the timeline. Now, within the top results, we see a mix of i7 and i9 processors with 6 gigs and 8 gigs of VRAM equipped in their GPUs. Now, as we move to the right on the chart, we have our first Ryzen equipped laptop, which is the Asus Zephyrus G14. This is a Ryzen 9 4900HS with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Max-Q. That comes with 6 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM. Now, from there, we continue to see a mix of Ryzen 7 and Intel i7 equipped laptops with 6 gig VRAM equipped cards. After the HP Omen, we start to get into the 4 gig equipped graphics cards and move away from the i7 processors and get into i5 processors, um, as well as some U-series processors which come with integrated graphics rather than dedicated graphics. Now, if you're interested in all those nuances, how to pick the best video editing laptop, I've created a full playlist, and you can check that out in the end cards once this video nears the end. Now, for some quick recommendations, if you want to get into some 1080p and maybe 4K video editing, I would check out the HP Spectre X360 or the Acer Nitro 5. If you want to get into a little bit more moderate uh, 4K video editing, I would check out the HP Omen or the Lenovo Legion 5. If you want to get into more advanced 4K and maybe even 6K, check out the Rogue Strix G7. 17, um, the Gigabyte Aero 15, the MSI Creator 15, uh, the HP Power ZBook or the HP ZBook Power G7. And these are some great laptops for that more advanced uh, 4K video editing. Now, those laptops I've just recommended are in the description below. And if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, if this video has brought you some value, tap that like button. And if you want the full ultimate guide for choosing the best video editing laptop, you can click or tap the screen over here. Now, I know I asked you to do a ton of different things. So pick the one you want to do most. I'm happy with that. You're happy with that. Keep editing, keep creating, keep designing. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next video. Whew, that was a whirlwind.